This video will review how to change the settings in a Honeywell BW uh, Gasart Extreme, but you could use the uh, some of the other monitors as well using the MicroDoc too. So we have to use the uh, BW Technologies or Honeywell uh, Fleet Manager 2 software. So we start this. Now I've got the MicroDoc 2 hooked up uh, with, in this case, it's SO2 gas. There's a USB cable going to uh, the dock from my computer. So I, first thing I have to do is log in. And the login is admin, capital A, small d, m, i, n. Hit OK. And you'll see on the left-hand side that opened up other options. I go to configure devices via the micro dock. And I want to choose the top one, so I'm loading an existing configuration file from the microdoc. So there's actually an SD card in the microdoc uh, that holds all the configurations for the units and the dock itself. This is the serial number of the dock that I'm connected to, so I hit OK. So there's tabs up here for different units that you could connect to and reconfigure. I've got a Gassert Extreme, and it's not an oxygen, so I go to SO2. Now, I was messing around. I want to change this back to the factory default of two uh, TWA alarm. Um, so now I have choices here that so I can change these alarm points. I can change different settings within the unit, um, the data logging interval, the days between calibrations. Down here, the programming options, I can program or do not reprogram, reprogram with user's consent, not changing the time and date automatically programming, do not change time and date, reprogram with the user's consent. Uh, so I, I use this last time, automatically reprogram, including the time and date, because I've got about 10 monitors, I have to reprogram with time and date. And uh, so when I do this, so if I change this, it would change to red. Um, I'll go down here, this is what it was set to before. But let's, actually, let me go back to, uh, actually, if I was even to do not reprogram, until I save it, it's, it shows there's a change here. So when I make my selection, uh, whatever it is, I hit save. I save it to the micro dock. What it's actually doing is going to this dock and to the SD card on the dock, updating it. And now it's telling me that it's saved successfully. Now the thing about this, it's in the dock on the SD card. What I did to have it update was um, I turned the dock off. I restarted it. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly necessary or not, but um, I did that and then it wasn't updating anything to the meter, but once you do a bump test or a calibration, it does that. Now, uh, so that's, that's a trick. Once you get it in the dock, you have to do a bumper calibration.